Hey everybody, this is Rich from Raw Micro. Hey, uh, I had a, a couple of emails about some, some basic electronic uh, uh, information uh, that people seem to be a little unclear of. So I, I thought that I would put together maybe maybe a series on, on some basic electronics. I, I can't commit to a whole, whole lot, but I thought I could at least talk a little bit about um, uh, some, some very basic stuff. And, and one of the things that, that's really basic with electronics is the is current flow and understanding what's happening there, uh, what direction it's going is, is particularly important. And if you ever take any classes uh, at a technical school or if you um, attend at the university level, pretty much on day one they're going to uh, talk about current flow and which way, way it flows. And I thought maybe I'd uh, share a little bit of that information with y'all and uh, uh, see if that helps, alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by, by showing this, which is um, really represents a piece of wire. could be a piece of wire laying on your bench. It's not uh, connected to anything. There's no power associated with it at all. And this wire could be, um, you know, it could be uh, made of gold, it could be made of uh, copper, possibly out of tin, any, anything conductive, any, any conductive material. And inside this wire, not a lot going on, but there, inside this wire there are electrons. And they're sort of just bumping around, not doing a lot. Uh, depending on temperature, they're, they're just kind of moving with no particular purpose. Okay. And these little E's in here uh, show a little negative sign up there at the exponent there of a negative. That indicates that they're negatively charged. And another thing that's going on inside this wire is where there's not an electron, there's what we, what we call a hole. Now the hole is essentially where the electron is not. So I have a negatively charged electron here, and here I don't have one. I have what's called a hole. And we consider that, um, that hole to be a positive charge. Okay, so all these little guys, these holes are really positively charged. So what we have is some negative and positive charges kind of bouncing around randomly based on temperature in this little conductor or a piece of wire laying on your bench. Okay. Now, what if we were to go ahead and hook up a uh, hook up a battery to this conductor? Now, this battery symbol I have here, with this larger plate being shown, this would be the positive side, and this would be the negative side of the battery. Now, what what happens here is things start to change in our conductor. The electrons, which are negatively charged, start to move down this wire because they're attracted to this positive plate. So they start to move in this direction. Well, as these electrons move down there, these holes start to march down this section of wire. So they're going in this direction toward the negative plate. So, which way is the current flowing? Right, I've got, I've got stuff flowing on the left side of this diagram. I, I have things flowing down the right side of this diagram. Well, think of, kind of think of it like this. Maybe this will give you an idea of what's going on as well. Let's uh, think of this sort of as a, your favorite beverage uh, filled with liquid. And I'm pouring out um, electrons. Well, just like a, just like a bottle, as stuff comes out, something has to go in. So, holes, here, let's call them air bubbles, start to go in. So I've got holes going in, I've got electrons coming out. Well, that's the same thing that's going on here because this current will flow, like these holes 
will continue to flow all the way around just like this guy here well these will continue to flow all the way around we'll start to have this big exchange going around as there's a current flow but still I haven't told you which way the current really flowing because I'm showing something going in both directions so let's look at a uh, um, a schematic representation of what we just saw. So here's a schematic symbol for a, um, a DC power supply and it could be any voltage typically people would write you know to the side here I don't say that's 9 volts but it's irrelevant for this exercise and like in the previous illustration we had a, a wire that came around attached here. Now in one direction we had we had holes and in the other direction we had electrons. Which way is the current flowing? Oh by the way for those of you that that, that know what's going on this is a really bad idea to have a circuit like this right you know that basically I'm shorting out the battery but give me a pass here for a moment I'm just trying to show the current flow idea and we'll probably cover Ohm's law next which uh, which sort of governs uh, how these things work but anyway it turns out that if you're in places like you know Australia current flows that way but if you're in places like the US you define it going that way now it's not because one's on one side of the equator and one's on the other that doesn't have anything to do with it and it really doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you're always consistent in your current flow so uh, for, for me in, in, in my studies uh, in the United States current flow is always defined in this direction and current flow uses the symbol I which is in amps alright so in every circuit the current is flowing out of the plus side in that direction alright and it continues all the way around and some of the other videos I've watched a couple other tutorial videos on this topic and they'll show it in the exact opposite direction so be very careful um, because uh, if you're a university student in the United States and you do it the other way uh, you, you could have some wrong answers uh, particularly when we start talking about current like for example here's the positive side so in the United States it goes like that if you have a math problem that you have to perform and you end up coming up with uh, you know negative 4 amps as an answer and it really should be like a positive 4 amps then you would get that wrong okay now you might get that right in Australia but you'll get it wrong in the US but anyway that's the deal that's how current flow works electrons flowing out of one side and holes flowing out of the other and current flows in the United States out of the positive side of your schematic symbol all right and I think the next thing we'll talk about in, in the next video will be Ohm's law and then you'll learn why the circuit I just drew was a really bad idea right because we would end up uh, smelling smoke probably all right until next time uh, this is Rich from Raw Micro thanks